So I'd like to share uh, the first of a series of adjacent tools that we'll be featuring here on the Systems Architecture Guild and it's a design structure matrix tool uh, that's going to be of some use to us as we want to analyze larger models. So as any user of Magic Draw tool suite knows, dependency matrices are very useful. They let us get a lot of insight into uh, relationships between model elements and so here is a uh, model from my students last term modeling out uh, an orbiter and uh, I want to show what this looks like in Latix. So if you go to export um, in Magic Draw you can install XMI exporters including a clean one. I've gone ahead and I've exported this to uh, XML 2.5 and here's the tool we're going to look at today it's called Latix and in, uh, this is the Latix Architect product and uh, in this case uh, we're going to use complex systems. Notice you can use this to analyze C code, Java all sorts of different uh, pieces of software, but it also has utility in um, analyzing systems engineering uh, relationships. So we're going to go ahead and switch to the complex systems profile, and we'll call this the uh, Focus RS project. Notice I've picked Magic Draw as the module type. We're going to switch to XML files, and as I come down here, you'll see we have Focus RS. And it's going to go ahead and import that file and parse it. It's going to take just a few seconds to read it according to Latix. As I expand it, you can see that it's respected the package structure and imported a variety of uh, features and, and functions and relationships into uh, Latix itself. And so I intend to work with them as I get higher fidelity models from students that are, are larger and larger to find appropriate ways to look at those uh, here in Latix. And so I don't want to have to do exports to Excel or do a lot of customization. I want it to be smart enough to read a straight export. And so we'll get to that uh, as we work together going forward. But what I'll do right now is I'm just right clicking and I'm asking for a new DSM view. And so here's a design structure matrix view of that system uh, with the uh, components broken down and the relationship shown. So it just does a straight count. Uh, we can go ahead and expand this and you can begin to see how it looks as you uh, as we expand this and drill down in here. And so what we're going to do is I want to take it at this level and try to reorganize it. And so I'm going to go ahead and allow it to partition this um, with component. I'll let it create virtual subsystems. And it's going to go ahead and reorganize this. And it broke up my logical architecture into these virtual subsystems. And it's basically been able to, to reorganize it. And so my goal long term is to do a solution neutral functional decomp and then run Latix on the system and let it decide how it should be organized, to let, especially if we're doing software, so that we can use the inputs and outputs from our activity diagrams to drive uh, what blocks or what system elements should be performing them. And so that's the long-term vision, but want to give you a taste of it up front. So this is Latix in action, uh, you know, live analysis of software uh, as we go. So that's what it looks like, and watch for more coming soon. Thanks, and have a great day.